In my desire to begin to address solutions to the issues we face with peak oil, I met up with permaculture designer Ethan Rowland to gain a better understanding of what permaculture is and how it can effectively be integrated into our lives. Ethan, tell me, why permaculture? It's very simple. Humans have pushed the ecosystem to its limits. Two-thirds of species that we know about are currently threatened with extinction. The climate is in chaos. With climate change, we're like a nice, gentle, warm, it's getting warmer, oh, it's nice out, I like the sun, but it's not like that. Um, it's this rapid instability, it's climate disruption, mm -hmm. where we're getting these intense weather events and then long droughts and then huge floods and it's just, it's getting more and more and more. So and more. lots of unpredictable events are happening. Right, and, and if only that were the only thing. Mm -hmm. So the, the challenge here is not that we have the climate in chaos, and it's not just that the whole system of oil and infinite economic growth that the global economic system is based on, it's not that that's sort of like at its edges of falling apart. And it's not that there's a massive, you know, species extinction on the way. It's all of those things together. It's, um, it's the complex, it's the interaction, it's the interconnection between those challenges that make this such an intense time, such a time of uh, radical shifts, radical transitions for the human race and for all other beings on the planet. Where we're at now, which is basically no farming very much in the region anymore. Uh, There's 1% of Americans are farmers right now. and That um, will change. That will change very quickly. Yeah. We pretty much um, have a negative impact on the landscape for the most part, mm -hmm. the landscape and the larger ecosystem. So what we need is maybe like a set of guidelines or principles or maybe some ethics that could help us to interact positively with the landscape. I believe that humans can be as positive a force on the planet as they are currently negative. I believe that we've done damage to the planet and that it's our responsibility, our like exciting, fun, joyful responsibility to give back, to heal the planet. Every permaculture teacher has a different definition of permaculture. Um, the one that I use to really connect to people is you take every discipline of sustainability that you've ever heard of. Renewable energy, mm -hmm. organic agriculture, green building, like natural building, uh, soil and water conservation, edible forest gardening, alternative currencies, appropriate technology, all these different pieces, uh -huh. and you pull them together okay. into one whole system so that any design you do includes all of these different elements and helps them support each other. Yeah, but what if you can't integrate some of those things? Does that matter? Does that make it not permaculture? No, you don't have to have every single piece in every design, okay. um, but you just have to work within the ethics. Somewhere Earth care. Called. Earth care. Yeah. People care. Yeah. Resource share. There it is. You're saying it connects your community. Um, it connects just the, the world on a, on a broader scale and how you integrate all of those pieces. Mm -hmm. How many people out there really understand what sustainability means? Uh, uh, I don't. I think it's the, the meaning has really dropped out from the bottom. It's become mm -hmm, a buzzword mm -hmm. and it's attached to lots of products and you know things that we consume. What exactly is it that we want to sustain? Right. What is it? Is it um, uh, climate change? How about... Uh, Our clogged highway systems? Mm, how about... Um, bad soil? Bad soil. Uh, peak of, oil? Peak oil, loss of water? Uh, biodiversity being destroyed? What, what do we want to sustain? What is this sustainable anyway? Sustainable is not enough. We have to go way past sustainability. Um, we need to step into a place where we're not just sustaining the systems we have right now. We're actually regenerating them. We're giving back to the land and to the people. We're healing the damage that we have done externally and internally. Uh, and so permaculture design is really regenerative design. Where we're looking to understand and fully take on what has happened in the world and then craft and design pathways to healing, to restoration, to regeneration. Now that sounds more dynamic to me than mm -hmm. sustainable. Permaculture is a good paradigm for starting to begin to connect the dots and see how you can integrate things and systems in your home or... It's the best one. Is it? 
it's the best whole systems design science. Nothing else teaches us how to integrate all of the different pieces into one straightforward, solution-driven approach to the challenges we're facing right now.